I wanted to show you all my backyard chicken watering tower, I guess, water tower. Um, so what we've done here is um, we've got a 55 gallon uh, rain barrel, plastic barrel, um, up on a platform. And the platform is about, oh, maybe three and a half feet tall, something like that. The platform sits on the ground and it's got supports and cross members here. It's kind of uh, based on like an old western water tower. So what you'll notice is I've got um, some two foot, 24 inch rebar spikes driven into the ground. And then there's four inch screws in each one um, holding onto each leg. And it's kind of a wreck because I'm still working on my coop here. But you'll see that uh, the platform is built out of, uh, you've got four by four legs. And then all of the wood you see around the sides, the cross members, the decking here on the platform, this was done with um, pieces of pallet from Ikea. Um, I didn't want to spend a ton of money on this. I ended up spending a ton of money anyway, but this is a pretty cool way to do this. So, um, so this is the water tower. Inside of these staves, there's uh, blue, and maybe you can see it in the crack there, it's kind of blue, 55 gallon drum. And then I cut staves out of furring strips to uh, make a jacket around everything so that it looks, you know, old timey. Um, this is uh, pipe strapping from the hardware store and I use three bands. And then up here, um, I use 30 gauge galvanized steel and I made a giant cone for a roof on this. And on top we have a, a drawer pole that gives us a, a little knob on top. And then these little Chinese made, um, they're supposed to be like red LED solar powered blinking security lights for your dash of your car. I put two of them on the roof because I'm a nerd and I wanted it to blink like a real water tower does um, with little red lights at night. And it does, so that's pretty cool. Um, holding the stave jacket on, we have angle brackets and all this is sunk into the woodwork. But now uh, we'll, uh, I use barn paint for both the, the jacket and for the, uh, the legs of the tower. And I sprayed this with a Harbor Freight $10 paint gun, which worked great. So now I want to get into how this works or why this works. Okay, so like a real municipal water tower or whatever, this uses gravity to um, feed the water into my watering system for my birds. Um, here at the back, we'll kind of get into the, the workings. Up here, I have a hose disconnect added through the wood jacket to the barrel. And this is where the water hose that I have plugs in to fill everything from the top. This also acts as a vent. Um, there's a little mesh screen inside of there. You can see that. That keeps things from going into the water. Um, I won't take the roof off, but the cap, there's two bung caps on the barrel. One of them has holes drilled into it and that adds further venting. Um, as we come down the side here, you'll notice we have a water glass. This is made out of uh, 36 inches of clear PVC, which is really kind of blue with a vented cap here. Um, this is wire to hold this back. Uh, we have a fishing float inside of here made out of styrofoam. And this lets me know how much water's in the barrel as we go down here. There's another um, tap, like for a rain barrel here. And um, it connects to a PVC elbow that feeds this. And when you fill it with water, the little float goes up and down. It tells me how much is in this barrel. So right now the level of the water is about here inside the entire barrel, which is cool. Um, this is Water Weld by JB Weld. It's on here because I just couldn't seem to get the threads tight enough to stop a very slow drip. So I made this pretty permanent and I've got to paint that yet. I kind of got it all over my platform here. Um, this piece comes out so you can service this. Uh, then under here, you'll see that we have, um, oh, there it goes. We've got a val ball valve here that comes out of the bottom of the barrel and it runs down a three quarter inch PVC pipe when it's turned on. And then it goes inside my coop. Once inside the coop, there's the birds. Once inside the coop, it runs along the wire here and it fills these little cups that they peck at. And when they peck at them, it uh, fills each cup with water. And um, yeah, that's the gist of it. So this is how this works. This is what it does. It looks cool. We're gonna make a nice decal my family's name on it on the side of the water tower when the time comes um, further issues we thought about is in the winter time we're not sure how we'll keep the lines from bursting so you may switch to a standard waterer 
for that quarter of the year when it's coldest. Um, but for three quarters of the year, I can fill this tower up with um, probably about 50 gallons of water anyway before it's too high up and it would start leaking out of here. Um, and then that gives us some, um, oh, about two months, two and a half months of water. And uh, it doesn't go stale, haven't had any problems. Um, this is keeping the sunlight out and it's a blue barrel. So we really don't have any mold issues so far or stagnant water or mildew. So that's it y'all. I will check you soon. Let me know what you think in the comments. If you dig this, subscribe.